The One Piece is real. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, here, here, this is a large potato, and this is uh, what if Asta ate the do well, ate three devil fruits and had Hawking. Uh, ignore that part in the beginning. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of say in the beginning. I don't know. <laughs> but not the point. Uh, let me go into this. What if it hasn't been a month? No, I uploaded like eight days ago, so fuck off. <laughs> uh, well, something it is going to be a month is going to be What if Austin met his other self part three? That's actually in, well, it was made four weeks ago, and I'm trying to do it before that month uh, and, well, that kind of day comes, and I'm about to do a fucking recap for it. God, I hate my life. But, yeah, let me go into this one for me and shut up. Also, I should mention, this is part eight, not part seven, part eight. Because part seven was last what if, but I said part six because my dumbass realized that I already did part six. I'm just an idiot. But... I'm not going to mention, this is has been one of the longest what-ifs I have actually done that hasn't been, like, ended in, like, part three, four, five, or even six. Yeah. Part eight. Leave me alone. So, yeah, this is part eight. So, let me go into this what-if and let me shut the fuck up. But, yeah. The One Piece is real. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So, we can begin into, well, the, uh, well, eight captains, well, kind of seven captains because uh williams was taken you know it's there and of course ayami is also there because you know also came in clutch and fucking saved his ass from dante by murdering his ass yeah asta has a bounty over five billion you know i'm gonna just change it from four billion to five billion five billion six million well six hundred million seventy two uh what's it called million Okay, you might actually, give it. So, this is how much. Well, well not 600 million. No, 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 that's five. So, this is how much. Well, Asta has. Five, uh, five, mil, uh, five billion, eight hundred million, seventy two million, three hundred, uh, three hundred thousand, forty five thousand berries. Yeah, he has a lot, okay? Actually, I'm gonna change the last one to just a one, okay? Let me know. So, Asa has that much because of how dangerous he is. He's one of the first users to be able to have all, like, three different devil fruits are very dangerous. And also, being able to use all Hawkins and also the fact that he's basically from the Royal Bloodline, also known as Cody Rogers. He is basically fucking a problem to the world government. But yeah, it only took him one year to kind of get that much money on his head. But yeah. But of course, it's where, well... Everyone is seeing how much Asa has, and compared to that, to how much he will actually have in what's it called, the Four Kingdoms, he would have at least 10 trillion on his head. Yeah. Asta is kind of just celebrating right now in the background, saying, Yeah, motherfuckers, who, who didn't believe me I was going to get that much money? Fuck all y'all! Hell yeah, I'm the most dangerous fucker here! This is where, well, everyone says, Is that even a good thing to celebrate? And this is where you know never his eyes. Seeing Asa and Asa fucking celebrating like it's a good thing. This is where Asa says, I saved my captain. Guess what? I did such a better job. Uh, he says, I did a better job than you know. You know, you fucking retarded. Couldn't you even save your own captain? That's kind of sad. This is where you know gets angry and says, What did you say? I said, Don't be a pathetic bitch and save your captain. This is where, well, you know gets angry. Right now, air is twisting around him. Asta seems to not care less, and right now just lightning's crackling around him, saying like I said, you know, don't be a pathetic bitch about it. This is where you know was about to just send a win attack toward Asta, but this is where before anything else happens. Uh, what? What's it called? Julius managed to stop and say, please, please calm down. And yeah, but of course this is where well Julius did get a what's it called like notification from well. Not a notification, no, a kind of like call from, well, uh, the Heart Kingdom. Now, of course, this is where Lord Pechica was actually still taken. But, uh, as it called, everyone else was kind of like near with the elves. This is where, well, 
we go into Noel and the others kind of meeting well uh what's it called power cherry and the others like what's it called uh Raya the what's it called disloyal well no longer disloyal he's just too damn lazy half the damn time uh vector vector and even what's it called well what's it called and fauna now i should mention one thing fauna has a one-year-old kid like yes yeah. well not one year old a couple of month year old kid that's actually already able to walk now uh noel kind of notices and says who's that kid right next to fauna this is where well part three says that is well fauna and ace's child mostly raya kind of said this is where well fauna says yeah he's my child doesn't he look so adorable he looks so squishy and adorable. I never thought I was actually going to have a kid. But definitely with Ace, she said. This is where, well, Noelle kind of blushes because she always had, like, dirty mind thoughts of having a kid with Asta. Also, Mimosa kind of blushes. And this is where, well, uh, Sally isn't there. But who is there is Mariona. Mariona got there just to train because she wanted to get stronger. And, of course, they're all blushing from the fact that, well, Fauna's kind of just showing off her, like, a little kid. Mostly, yes, this is kind of, uh, well, what's it called? Ace's kid. Yes, Fauna and Ace did kind of get implemented and kind of had a kid. Yes, in like the very beginning of like the year before like the training year t uh, skip and all that. But yeah, so of course the kid is only like four months older, yeah. This is where, well, Fauna says, does he look so adorable? He definitely, he definitely has his father's eyes. He has somewhat, well, my hair and his hair. A dark shade of kind of pink and all that. Does have a little bit of black highlights and all that. He does definitely has those fractal uh, freckles of well, Ace. Hmm. He does have what's it called Ace's kind of like face and all that structure. <laughs> She's right now just blushing. Is right now loving her child. This is where well Raya says you should really not get too comfortable with the child and all that. Shut up, Raya. She kind of just glares at Raya. Raya says oh for fuck's sake. This is where Parcher says it's fine. Besides. There's the other descendants of, well, you know, Lichen, what's it called, um, uh, what's it called, La uh, Lady, I forgot her name, but she was like a one user that was, well, the first, uh, Wizard King's kind of sister, but yeah, and of course, they're like descendants, but of course, they are half elves, the first generation of those, and, well, Fauna and Ace are kind of the second generation for it, so that's fine, Raya, that's why Raya say, yeah, it is, hmm, that's why Fauna says, you're so adorable there, little Well, She kind of calls this kid Well. That's why Fauna says, well, his name is Blazer. Blazer D. Well, go. <laughs> that's where the kid is right now, smiling and all that. And that's why, well, Noel, uh, Mamosa, and even Maria are right now just having hearts in their eyes for the little kid. And the little kid is just being really adorable. So, of course, Gaia kind of talks about it and blah, blah, blah. That's why, well. Austin says, wait, he's had a kid? Why didn't he tell me nothing? For fuck's sakes. I wonder if, well... Hey, what's it called? Uh, he grabs what's it called, the call from, well, uh, Julius. And Julius says, wait, I'm still on the call. Hey, guy, can you talk to... Or can you give me the, uh, what's it called, with, um... Mimosa, Noel, and what's it called, Hell, Uh, Mariana, is there, there? This is where, well, uh, Gaia says, why? I just need to talk to them privately. That's the word, well, uh, Gaia says, sorry, but we need to train because, well, in a couple of months, we will help you, well, not a couple of months, a couple of days, uh, when do you want to, well, I need to talk to the Wizard King. That's where I must have said, sure, fine. That's the word, well, the Wizard King says, when to attack? Hmm. Uh, this is where someone says, two days. This is where, well, they turn around and see Noct. Noct says, hello there, yummy captain. I'm surprised he didn't get captured. Yami says, ah, oh, not. Or should I say, first lieutenant. Or should I say, non-lieutenant, because I picked you out of well, the fact that you're no longer my lieutenant. Because I picked Asta as my lieutenant. Not says, I see. Interesting. It seems to you are able to have a union form with your devil, isn't it? Asta says, of course I do have a union form with my devil. She's my brother anyway. This is where, well... Uh, Levy kind of fist bump him and all that because yes, Levy is right next to him, mostly on the shoulder. But yeah, this is where not say uh, I see. Okay, so I don't need to help you with that training. 
But in two days, we should be attacking the kind of spade kingdom before, well, I was caught. Uh, uh, William should be sacrificed because they're going after Yami also. So there's no way to sacrifice well, William without Yami. Let's see where it Julia says, I see. Then we should all plan that. This is where Yuno says, can I go? I also say, since you fucking failed the first time, I sh you probably shouldn't be going. You're weak as hell. That's where you know. Say, I will kill you, Asta. Bitch, I have a fucking bounty over trillions of money on me in this world. Well, in this kind of four kingdoms. Why well, you have no bounty over you? It just shows that you're prophetic as hell. You know, gets angrier and angrier. Which Asta just kind of trying to cry him out to mostly see if uh, you know, actually cry. Because he wants to see how crybaby he still is. He wants to see an emotion that, you know, I should give out that isn't just fucking arrogant as hell. He wants to kind of see if he gets angrier and angrier and angrier to explode him with anger. That's where, well, you know, says, I'm going to fucking murder you. This is where he now has anger in his eyes. He sends wind attacks at Asta, but Asta destroys it all with a kind of just wind pressure, a conqueror's wind pressure. Yes, he kind of destroys it and knocks out Yuno in an instant. That's why everyone else felt it, and they almost passed this out. Asta says, well, we should be going now, shouldn't we? That's where, well, Asta kind of, like, disappears. That's where Yami says, well, time to go to the Black Bulls. See you or not. That's where Nox says, yeah. That guy's dangerous. Really dangerous. That's where when Nox kind of looks at the bounty that's on the table, he realized Asa is dangerous as fuck when the world government. Somewhere in what's called a different island or different place. And I've been calling the all blue, uh, what's called basically the Grand Lion, the all blue. Yeah, it's mostly called the Grand Lion, not all blue. I'm just an idiot half of that time. But yeah, and of course the Grand Lion, the fact that, well, Asa has that much of a high bounty as hell, but yeah. So the four kingdoms kind of resign in the south blue, but yeah. So of course, they are in the south blue, so yeah. And of course, Asta went to the Grand Line to become this powerful pirate, but yeah. Of course, Asta meets up with everyone in what's called the Black Bulls, and they all have a couple, like, two days to just train and become stronger. So of course, that happens. That's where, well, we go into a time skip of two days. Everyone is now attacking the Spade Kingdom, and of course, not kind of mostly teleports him out there. And of course, this is where Asta, he right now has, well, his crew with him. Now, I should mention one thing. He, well, not a crew, he doesn't actually have a crew because he did this all solo. And this fought against, well, Mihawk. So, of course, this is where, well, he does kind of, he did kind of fight against Mihawk, so of course. He has, well, three swords on him. He has Enma, he has, well, he has Enma the Snake Slayer, and also a third blade. So this is what the katana kind of looked like. Well, it had like this tillish blue color uh, color here, but it, it was all black, and it was called the Susano's Blade. That was what it, that's what it was called, but yeah. For fuck's sake, I couldn't speak, but yeah. So, of course, that's what Asta's third blade is, and of course, this is where Asta is now going towards, well, the Spade Kingdom. Asta is now rushing through, kind of destroying some of the devil uh, devices and all that. Well, so, but, what was the it's called the Spike Posts or whatever, the, yeah, the Spike Posts, and of course, Asta just killing them easily. You know, is right now with what's called Longress, fighting against, well, Zanin, well, Zanin, this is where, well, uh, it's called T. What's it called? Uh, Blue Rose Captain Shar and what's it called? The Aqua Deer Captain Name. I forgot it's got the name. It's fighting on this Vatica. And of course, the where, well, Asta and, well, Yami are right now just destroying all the devil disciples. But yeah, other people are fighting. And this is where, well, two ancient devils appear. And this is where, well, Mariana's destroying them. And this is where, well, the Black Bulls gets towards where, well, Williams will be at. And, of course, well, Asta and Yami also gets there and destroys all the double users. But, yeah. Even, uh, Lucifer K did manage to come out after all the destruction and all that. But this is where Asta did pull out all three swords. 
Mostly puts the snake slayer in his mouth. Puts uh, uh, Enma out and also puts with uh, Susano's blade in his right hand. But yeah, that's where he's now fighting against Lucifer So yeah, Lucifer Kay would still get out of the world. Only being like 20% of his like original body or whatever. But yeah, that's where he fights against everyone. And of course, to where Yami and not to try to do that. Same was called Domain, well not Domain Expansion. Monozone, but yeah, Black Moon. But this is where, well, also was fighting there. And this is where he says, hey, DB, you ready? Hell yeah. Union mode. Double, well, double union mode. Anti-magic mode. This is where, well, also still goes into the same anti-magic mode. But this time his swords are right now just cover up with anti-magic on them. But right now they have an own, they have their own energy right now crackling through them. This is where the Susano Blade crackles with this bluish color. And right now the sky is thundery right now. Thanks to the Susano's Blade. Now I should mention one thing about Susano. Now you all might be thinking Susano from Naruto, right? No, I'm talking about the Susano God. God of Susano, you know. How usually the gods in Japanese culture would be like Susano, Amaterasu, uh, I think there was another one. I think Izunami and Izunagi were another gods, uh, the Katsune, um, what's it called? Who else am I missing? Uh, oh yeah, someone come, but is he, is he part of Black Watcher? No, I don't think so. But this is where, oh. I'm talking about those gods. So, of course, this is where, well, Asta's blade does kind of control the storm, like the weather. Um, am I going to use this in this weapon in the near future for any, like, Luffy what ifs? Maybe. Maybe. Just, I have one in mind, but don't worry about it. But, of course, we go into Asta still. This is where, well, Asta is right now with his, uh, uh well, Enma is right now. Having this purple glow, and of course, this is where, well, uh, also has this, like, dark crown on his, like, head. That's kind of, like, from Emma's kind of power. And, of course, have a horn from it also. This is where the snake slayer is kind of, like, heavily, uh, heavily cutter, uh, snake's, uh, cutter. It's giving him the, uh, kind of a halo on the opposite side. And, of course, this is where, well... Asa gets straight towards what's it called? Like goes straight towards um well Lucifer K. Lucifer K says what <clears throat> he just slashed off his arm. He's confused and start fighting against Asa. Say you bet at it quickly. <clears throat> He's right now getting his ass kicked. And of course where Asa is speed blitzing him so fast. Of course Asa's right now using the what's it called the lightning double foot, mostly the rumble rumble, to kind of well Start speeding up, and of course, they're kicking the shit out of well, what's it called? Lucifer K. Lucifer K trying to go as strong as he can, but he can't. And this is where, well, he tries to fight against well, Asa, but this is where Asa does go into Phoenix mode while being in this double mode and go faster and destroy what's it called? Lucifer K pretty easily. And this time, Asa does manage to destroy the double heart that Lucifer K has. That means destroying it, and, well, uh, Asterisk or whatever his goddamn name, the other devil that was watching this, could not really get the double heart from the Super K, so, of course, he can't really get that heart. So, of course, he had to go back empty-hand it. Of course, well, not empty hand it, he managed to grab some of the fragments while Asta was about to kill him until, well, the dude who can actually use some more time magic, because I think that's the time devil, managed to just get away, but, yeah. That's where, well... Oh, that's a Well, wow, what a pathetic bitch running away. Damn it. This is where he kind of looks at everyone else and sees that they're all fine, but yeah. This is where, well, uh, what's it called? Julius still is, what's it called, a traitor somewhat. He still becomes this evil person, but yeah. Of course, everyone is kind of, we go into a time skip of them all celebrating of how Asta is going to become a, well, stronger rank even though he's right now a criminal at the same time but of course when that is happening Asta kind of just talks to sister Lily normally instead of like asking her well for a uh, marriage but yeah and of course this is where Asta instead of talks to Noel, Mimosa, Sally and even Mariana. Uh, Sally was there kind of helping out but yeah she was stronger by using what they call her dark magic tools to kind of well make everyone kind of become stronger but yeah during the whole fight. But of course. Well, 
Julius comes and being this evil person and tries to compensate what's caught everyone in it. But of course, also managed to break through and fight against, well, a half burning power, uh, what's it called, um, what was Julius, what's it called, the name? I think it was Lucifer K or what's it called? Yeah, Lucifer K. Or Lucifer K? I don't remember. Okay. Uh, but of course, the what? Well, he starts kind of fighting against Asta, but Asta is having it in this mode thanks to his three swords. And of course, the power of Conqueror's Hawking is breaking through any time spells that was called this person tried to throw at. Asta. Of course, Asta is right now fighting against him and pretty damn just kicking his ass pretty easily. Of course, this person is burning Halfly transformation into his final form because, well, the heart is destroyed. Was well, mostly the king of the devils was destroyed heart, so of course, it's burning even a full transformation. He needs to get rid of Asta, but of course, it seems that he probably won't be able to. Because, well, teleporting somewhere probably also will be getting back here, but yeah. This is where, well, the other captains manage to hear the commotion, of course, start fighting against, well, fake Julius and all that. Of course, it worked. Well, Julius managed to put a chromo state on. Well, not uh, Julius. Uh, let me actually remember his name. So his name is Lucius, and of course, it worked. Well, Lucius kind of puts a time spell on what call the captains, but this is where some of the captains kind of became like age younger. He tries to kind of put them as like children, so he didn't need to deal with them. Even tries to put Asta in it, but of course Asta managed to jump away from it. This is where Yami kind of like got his age younger a little bit, by like three years younger, but yeah. Of course, this is where, well, Mariana was trapped. This is where Fulconi was also trapped. And this is where, well, Yami was also trapped. This is where, well, uh, what's it called? Also, what's it called? Nozel. This is where, well, before they were anywhere younger up, more, uh, what's it come? Well, Yami wasn't captured. He actually managed to also escape with a Dark Dimension Slash. But, of course, this is where, well, uh, Nozel, Fogola, and Mariona was actually aged up. Well, mostly, uh, what's it called? Not Dark Dimension Slash. Mostly, Yami managed to just jump away. Because he managed to use, like, a dark, kind of, like, dark step to jump away. But, yeah. This is where, well, they were actually aged up to five years younger now. No, uh, Nocel is 24. He was 29, but now 24. Uh, Fogolian was 30, and he is now, well, 25. And Mariona is actually 27. She was 32, but now 27. The reason why they weren't younger up anymore was the fact that a Conqueror's, well, mostly an Armament Conqueror's Slash kind of went through and ripped through the spell, destroying it an instant. And the person that kind of destroys it when, uh, what's it called, Lucy, what's it called? When, uh, Lucius kind of looks down, was none other than Shanks. Shanks did show up and say, yo, what's good, bitch? So, yeah. Shanks only wanted to see what Asta was doing, just to see that he doesn't really die. Because he gotta make sure that, the uh, Pirate King Bloodline doesn't actually die, okay? So, of course, he, like, shows up. Also, wait, was it called me hawking like the others? Of course, this is where Lucius sees that this is a problem, but this is where he transformed people like random civilians into kind of having the, uh, well, some of the Supreme Devil's power. This is where, well, they start fighting against, well, me hawking, was it called, well, was it called, um, uh, uh, Shanks? But Shanks also, I should mention one thing, Shanks did catch, was it called Mariana from falling down, but yeah. This is where Mariana was confused, but they look away. Of course, they're blushing from the face. This is where, well, uh, they didn't care, but they start fighting against the Supreme Devils. Shanks was easily defeating some of the, uh, what's it called, Supreme Devils pretty easily. Also, Mihawk. I should mention that Rayleigh was also there. Dark King Rayleigh. He's, he is like 70. He was like, right now he's 79 right now. This is where, well, Shanks is 27, I should mention. Even though he looks a little bit older, but yeah. And this is where, well, uh, what's it called? Other people are there kind of helping with the car, fighting against some of the Supreme Devils, while us is right now fighting against Lucy Cass. This is where, well, us is right now kind of cutting him up and like just tearing into his fucking skin. Now, I should want to mention one thing. Uh, well, with uh, Sister Lily, she didn't actually get transformed because Asta was actually protecting her. This is where, well, Asta didn't want Sister Lily, the only person that actually cared about him, to get transformed into a devil. So, yeah. 
So, of course, with that happening, uh, she was actually saved by Asta this time because Asta's speed is much stronger, much more powerful. So, of course, she was saved. Uh, was a cop. But, of course, with that happening, this is where, well, with that, uh, what, what's it called with them, uh, happening, of course, the word, well, Asta kind of went into, well, a double awakening, well, a double fruit awakening. He added, well, his lightning, his chore torn on me, and his ito torn on me all together, just activated all of them at once. Of course, kind of awakened them all at the same time. His double fruit, the, what the, what's it called, string string on me, is a similar same as Do Flamingo's, the awaken, how he can transform things into the ito ito no me. Of course, with his lightning one, has became into somewhat of a lightning god. And of course, the word, well, his Toratoran on me just became much more stronger and able to recover anyone from a wounded limbs and all that. Of course, his flames became more deadlier and more denser, but yeah, and that's how he can recover people's like wounds and all them other things. Because some of them, uh, some people that were actually fighting at the Supreme Devils were kind of losing limbs and all that, but they're not right now being healed. That's where Asa goes to finish Let's call it Lucius. This one, Lucius is trying to kill Asa, but of course, it worked. Well, Asa says, Die! Three sword style! God Slayer Destruction! Well, mostly not God Slayer Destruction. God Slayer Slashes! This is where he slashed at, well, Lucius three times. One hitting him right in the, like, mostly, like, uh, stomach area. One hitting him right in the neck. And one hitting him right into the, like, Head, kind of cutting his head. This is where, well, uh, you should say, No, I can't die. He dies, and of course, it worked well. All the supreme doubles are now gone thanks to those people who were transformed into it. They didn't die, mostly the doubles died, but yeah. But of course, this is where it went. When all the supreme doubles, uh, kind of disappear, of course, it where Asta was right now in the air, kind of smiling and smiling at everyone, but yeah. We now go into a time skip of, well, you know, kind of finding out that, yes, he was a prince and still became, well, the king of, what's it called, the, well, Spade Kingdom. Of course, the word, well, the Clover Kingdom uh, king, who actually became the king, was none other than Yami. Yes. Yami became the Clover King. Of course, the word, well, he didn't really feel like it, but yeah, he became a Clover King. This is where, well, the Golden Dawn and other people, yeah, they all just stay kind of the same, but some of them became having what's called, uh, lieutenants and other things, but yeah. Of course, uh, who actually replaced what's called, you know, from, well, the Golden Dawn for being, like, the vice captain and all that? Uh, I don't know why I keep calling them the vice captains, the lieutenants, but yeah, I'm thinking of Fire Force most of the time. But of course... The vice captain for what's called the Golden Dawn was, well, a newer person, and that is Klaus. Yes, Klaus kind of became the vice captain, who became the captain for the Golden Dawn, and truly was actually Longress. Yeah, Longress became the captain. So some of the captains and vice captains, they're changed up for the different squads. I mean, I, you know, I'm going to change up. For the Sylveon, uh, what's it called, captain? Was none other than what uh, Solid. Solid, well, Solid became the vice captain. The actual captain was not Nozel or even uh, what's called N uh, Nurbra. Nurbra actually has a kid with someone that you won't suspect, but I'm just gonna say fuck it. Zora. They had a kid. Doesn't work well. Their kid is right now just dealing with some stuff, but yeah, having a rebellion against well, the father and mother, but yeah. But of course, the kid just has a lightish kind of pinkish hair, mostly because of Zora's red hair and Nobra's kind of like whitish hair, but yeah. She's not the captain of the squad, but yeah. Mostly the captain of the Sylveon, uh, what's called, like the Sylveon squad, is, well, um, some person with dark blue, uh, well, dark blue hair, and is able to right now just control the Sylveon, for, uh, the Sylveon, well, the Silver Eagles kind of like squad and all that for right now. No, uh, Nozel kind of has a kid with Dar, uh, yeah, Darcy. But yeah, of course, that kid can now use metal, well, dream magic. But yeah, 
of course, we go into, well, the kind of, well, Crimson Lions. The captain of the Crimson Lions is, well, Leon. While the vice captain is someone that's under him. But, yeah. The green frame mantis, well, would stay fucking the same. Because, well, Jack is a menace to anyone. And, yeah. And, of course, the other link that he has is, well, I'm going to just say fungus dude. But, yeah. Of course, the blue deer, aqua deer. Cat and all that would still be the same. The vice captain, I don't know who the fuck that was, but yeah, whoever. Um, the pink filming most, yeah, had it to change, but yeah. But of course, we go into, well, Yami and, well, Yami and the blue rose captain. Yami didn't actually stay as the captain because he is right now the wizard king. The captain of the black bulls is, well, Magna. Of course, what's called? The vice uh, captain is not 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 actually well not is still well not not mostly not is now the captain while the vice captain is what's it called well what's it called uh, Finro but yeah of course Finro did kind of break his curse and managed to marry what's it called Lady Finnis but yeah of course well well uh Yami and Shar from the Blue Rose and all that. I actually married each other and of course had a kid, so yeah, fuck it. They did have a kid. Even though it was Kayami's right now the Wizard King. But he has time for his kid anyway. Of course it worked well, so I still say tab, but yeah. Of course she did kinda of become the captain of well, the Blue Rose, Soy. And the vice captain was someone under here, but yeah. Of course, who am I missing from the squads and all that? Oh yeah, the purple orcas say the same, but yeah. Um we go into, well, you know they have a kid with one person, but also had a kid with four people. That is Sally, Noel, uh, Mimosa, and, well, Mariana. He has about four kids from each of them. Of, well, not four kids from each, each of them. Mostly four, uh, one kid from each of them. And, of course, those kids can actually use similar double fruit powers. And using the same kind of Conqueror Supreme color hawking, but just a little bit weaker than their father. But, yeah. Mostly, not their fathers, mostly their father. But yeah. Their mother doesn't actually have any kind of like hawking or even was it called um, anything like that. Only magic. And of course, they do have the Pacific magic type of what their mother kind of had. Uh, some of them can actually use kind of a very powerful water tile. Some of them uses, well, not some of them. One of them uses plants. One of them kind of uses uh, dark magic, what's it called materials or whatever. And another one kind of uses crystal magic, but yeah. But all of it is kind of like the anti-version, but yeah. But of course, it were, well, Nero, she actually just became single, but whatever. Um, I actually don't know who Nero would be. I forgot about Nero's fucking present in the first place. But yeah, of course, we go into, well, Asta. What is Asta doing right now? Well, Asta finally became the Pirate King and does have, well, became the freest person. So, of course, he doesn't really need to follow any rules and doesn't really need to stay with the children. But he stays with the kids because he wants to tell them about stories and all that and kind of get them stronger for the world. Of course, through where Asta, he does kind of visit his brothers. Well, mostly some of his brothers visit him, like Luffy, who's kind of married with Boa. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Sabo is married with someone. Uh, Ace is kind of married with what's it called, uh, Fauna, and yes, they did have extra kids, but yeah, don't worry about that. Of course, it's what, well, uh, Shanks kind of got married with, well, uh, Mariana, because fuck it, why not? But other than that, this is, well, the end of, well, this what if, yes, I end that off here. Now, I didn't go much detail into the manga because, well, fuck it. I'm not going to go through all that until the anime comes out. But, yeah. So, I only went straight towards the Lucy, well, yeah, mostly Julius part and all that. And I should mention one thing. Julius is actually dead in this. Yes, Asta killed him. He didn't, like, somehow sacrifice his souls and all that. He had to kill both of them because they were both together and there's no actual way to kind of get rid of them. It's not like the elves and human thing. It was complete different. It's human and human, so it was there was no actual way to actually kind of split them apart. So I decided to kill both of them. 
So, of course, with that happening, Julius is dead in this, but yeah. But other than that, have a nice potato day. Potato night, potato sleep, potato potato, and good night. This is the end of this what if, but yeah, bye-bye. Potato.